हेलो एवरीवन अ वेरी वोम वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू वेलकम टू स्वाय एजुकेशन माई सेल्फ राधा एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सबला स्कीम एंड एफ एस एस आई इनिशिएटिव ऑन फूड फोर्टिफिकेशन एंड एफ एफ आर सी सो लेट स्टार्ट विद आर टूडेज लेक्चर सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टारगेट दिस पोर्शन so what is sabla scheme so ministry of women and child development paid tribute to shri rajiv gandhi on the occasion of his birth anniversary by announcing rajiv gandhi scheme for empowerment of adolescent girl that is sabla scheme and this scheme will empower adolescent girl of the age in between 11 to 18 year by improving their nutritional and health status upgrading their home skill life skill and vocational skills equipping them on health and hygiene and family welfare mainstreaming out of school girls into formal and non formal education to be implemented in 200 selected district using the icds platform means child development to be benefit nearly 100 lakh adolescent girl every year in all state and union territories allocation rupee 1000 crore per year that is empowered girl empower india so this is scheme that is sabla scheme is announcing on the occasion of rajiv gandhi birth anniversary and the main idea behind this is scheme to empower the girls improving their nutritional status their vocational status health and hygiene formal non formal education so that is the main objective behind it so that is sabla scheme so sabla a centrally sponsored scheme and the idea at empowering adolescent girl age in between 11 to 18 year through nutrition health care and life skill education means in 195 if i want to say the main idea behind sabla scheme is to empower the girls and the scheme has two major component nutrition and non nutrition in terms of nutrition as well as in term of education so nearly 100 lakh adolescent per annum are expected to be benefited under this scheme so the objective of sabla scheme to enable the adolescent girl for self development and empowerment by education sabla scheme the main idea is that to enable adolescent girl for self development improve the nutrition and health status by nutrition because as we say that sabla scheme working by nutrition and non nutrition program so nutrition program for their health status and educational for their self development and empowerment and promote awareness about health hygiene nutrition etc and upgrade their home based skill life skill tie up with national skill development program for vocational skills and mainstream of school adolescent girl into formal non formal education and providing guidance and the services to be provided under sabla scheme is nutrition provision iron and folic acid supplementation that is weekly iron and folic acid supplementation we also discuss about this program wifs weekly iron folic acid supplementation just to prevent from the anemic condition and other diseases like neural tube defect health check up and referral services nutrition and health education nutrition just because to overcome the problem of malnutrition counseling oblique guidance on family welfare child care practices and home management life skill educational vocational skill and accessing public services so that was the services to be provided under sabla scheme next one is food fortification so what is food fortification 
फोर्टिफिकेशन मीन्स एडिशन ऑफ विटामिन्स एंड मिनरल्स वॉट इज विटामिन्स एंड मिनरल्स सो विटामिन्स एंड मिनरल्स आर माइक्रो न्यूट्रिय दे रिक्वायर्ड इन स्मॉल क्वान्टिटी फॉर आर बॉडी बट दे आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो फोर्टिफिकेशन इज द एडिशन ऑफ विटामिन्स एंड मिनरल्स और वी कैन से माइक्रो न्यूट्रिय सच एज मिनरल लाइक आयरन आयोडीन जिंक विटामिन ए एंड विटामिन डी टू स्टेपल फूड सच एज राइस मिल्क एंड सोल्ट टू इम्प्रूव देयर न्यूट्रिशनल कॉन्टेंट सो ऑल दिस विटामिन्स एंड मिनरल्स शुड बी एडिड ऑन टू द फूड टू इम्प्रूव देयर न्यूट्रिशनल कंटेंट एंड दिस न्यूट्रिय मे और मे नॉट हैव बीन ओरिजिनली प्रजेंट इन फूड बिफोर प्रोसेसिंग दे शुड बी प्रजेंट इन फूड बिफोर प्रोसेसिंग और शुड नॉट बी so this is the logo of fortified food that is plus f and fortified food in fortified food vitamins and mineral are added for your daily needs this is wheat flour and rice fortified wheat flour and rice contain iron vitamin b12 folic acid if there is iron so prevention from anemic disease or anemia vitamin b12 if there is no deficiency in your body so you will not suffer from the pernicious anemia and folic acid means neural tube development because in the deficiency of folic acid neural tube defect disorder and in the presence neural tube development and its fortified milk contain vitamin d that supports strong bones and vitamin a retinol that prevent night blindness it's double fortified salt double fortified salt contain iron that fight anemia and iodine for normal growth and brain development food for thought fortification of eatable is aim at fighting malnutrition so the main problem is malnutrition and to overcome that problem malnutrition means deficiency of nutrition like vitamin and minerals that cause several kind of disease in the body of a human being and to overcome that problem you have to eat fortified food to fight malnutrition so what is it fortification is the addition of vitamins and mineral such as iron zinc vitamin d a to staple food such as rice milk and salt to improve their nutritional content so nutrition may or may not have been originally present in food before processing it is a simple proven cost effective and complementary strategy is used across the globe and the draft food safety and standard regulation 2016 prescribe the standards for fortification of salt oil milk and rice fortified thali that contain double fortified salt iron and iodine iron prevent anemia and iodine prevent like thyroid gland related problems and goiter and other diseases as well and fortified rice fortified wheat flour fortified oil and fortified milk circle of nutrition it's a fortified thali or we can say circle of nutrition consists of vitamins minerals iron iodine vitamin b12 that make fortified food as a part of your lifestyle to overcome the problem of malnutrition so what is the need of fortification according to the national family health survey 58.4% of children are anemic and 53.1% women in the reproductive age in between group are anemic means adolescent girls are also anemic and 35.7% of children under 5 are underweight also it is estimated that 50 to 70% of birth defect is due to the deficiency of folic acid so fortification is necessary to address the deficiency of micronutrient and micronutrient or we can say malnutrition micronutrient like vitamins and minerals minerals like iron iodine 
and when there is a deficiency of micronutrient in your body that is also known as hidden hunger so it is very important according to your examination point of view so a serious health risk unfortunately those who are economically disadvantaged do not have access to safe and nutritious food other either do not consume a balanced diet or lack variety in the diet because of which they do not get adequate micronutrient so the main reason behind the malnutrition or we can say hidden hunger problem is that you are not eating a balanced diet often there is a considerable loss of nutrient during the processing of food so food fortification in india has started in 1950 when vanaspati was fortified with vitamin a in 1986 a national policy of universal salt iodization was adopted and subsequent in 2005 both at national and state level which prohibit the sale of non iodized salt for human consumption so in 1950 food fortification in india start, has been started wherein vanaspati was fortified with vitamin a and vitamin a prevent the disease like the night blindness and in 2005 both at national and state level sale of non iodized salt is prohibited for human consumption so from them iodized salt as compared to common salt iodized salt are eaten by the human being to overcome these problems so rice fortification department of food and public distribution that is dfpd department of food and public distribution has been running a centrally sponsored scheme on fortification of rice and its distribution through public distribution scheme the scheme was initiated in 2019-20 for three year run and this scheme will run till 2023 and rice will be supplied to be the beneficiaries at the rate of rupee 1 per kg and this fortified rice contain vitamin b12 and other vitamins and minerals to overcome the problem of malnutrition and hidden hunger and for rice fortification ministry of consumer affairs food and public distribution is the nodal agency that run this program next one is wheat fortification so the decision on fortification of wheat was announced in 2018 and is being implemented in 12 state under india flagship poshan abhiyan to improve nutrition among children so it has been implemented under india flagship poshan abhiyan for why to improve nutrition among children adolescent pregnant mothers lactating mothers next one is edible oil fortification fortification of edible oil was made compulsory across the country by fssai in 2018 so wheat fortification and edible oil fortification announced in 2018 next one is fortification of milk started in 2017 under the national dairy development board of india that is nddb companies to add vitamin d and promoting food fortification has been a part of 10th 11th and 12th five year plan of the country so milk fortification milk fortification started in 2017 under and d db that is national dairy development board of india board of india and wheat and edible oil edible oil fortification announced was announced in 2018 and rice fortification rice fortification initiated in 2019 in between 2019 to 20 under 
डी एफ पी डी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फूड एंड पब्लिक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन क्लियर एंड फर्स्ट टाइम फूड फोर्टिफिकेशन स्टार्टेड इन नाइनटीन फिफ्टी सिक्स वेन वनस्पति वॉज फोर्टिफाइड विथ विटामिन ए नेक्स्ट वन इज दिस इज द लोगो फोर्टिफाइड फूड प्लस एफ एंड टैगलाइन इज संपूर्ण पोषण स्वस्थ जीवन सो वेन यू आर बाइंग एनी प्रोडक्ट सो लुक फॉर प्लस एफ लोगो दैट इज इश्यू बाय एफ एस एस ए आई इन पब्लिक इंटरेस्ट एंड सी दिस इज एफ एफ आर सी फूड फोर्टिफिकेशन रिसोर्स सेंटर एंड इट्स एफ एस एस ए आई फूड सेफ्टी एंड स्टैंडर्ड ऑथोरिटी ऑफ इंडिया सो इट्स फूड फोर्टिफिकेशन रिसोर्स सेंटर so use of plus f logo mandatory for fbo means food business operator fortifying product as per food safety and standard regulation so all the food business operator engaged in manufacturing oblique processing and relabeling oblique repackaging have to mandatory use plus f logo if they are fortifying their product means if any product is fortified so you have to mention that plus f logo on to the product of that food so it is necessary for ho- for food business operator that use of plus f logo on fortifying food product as per food safety and standard regulation so food is safety and standards fortification of food regulation 2016 the food safety and standard authority of india fssai said all the food business operator engage in manufacturing processing and relabeling repacking of fortified food product shall endorse their fortified food product in existing license oblique registration so food business operator are required to complete the endorsement for plus f logo with food license and registration system so food business operator should have the food license and registration system for the endorsement for plus f logo food license and registration system that is called f l r s the fssi has said as per the regulation every package of fortified food shall carry the logo on the label as specified in the schedule second of this regulation and to simplify the ongoing process of plus f logo registration on the website of food fortification resource center so fssi has integrated an endorsement procedure within the existing food license and registration system wherein food business operator will be able to endorse their fortified product and obtain plus f logo so registration for that you have to go on the website of food fortification resource center so thank you so much everyone if you find this video beneficial for you please don't forget to like share and subscribe this channel for more such kind of videos and if you have any query regarding this lecture you can comment down below